Oh my goodness, she must just barely had her. Oh, she's having her baby. She just had it, like, the thing is out. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's out, oh my goodness, look. She had her baby. Oh, oh so cute. Oh. Yeah, it's out. She's up by the trampoline. I saw her earlier by the trampoline, but she must just barely, barely had her. Like, oh Mommy, my goodness. Is Mommy's cleaning the baby? Yeah, I'm, I'm filming it right now. Oh, so oh. I wonder if there's another one. How close are you? Hey, hello, hello. Okay. Hurry, hurry. Oh my goodness. Olive, look. I knew it. I saw her and I was like, I wonder if she's going to have it because she was like pretty still. And I was like, what is she doing? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so cutie. We have a baby. A lamby. A baby lamb. Why do you want to name her? I don't know. What do you want to name her? Uh -huh. Well, I don't know. If it's a boy or a girl, we, we'll, we'll need to see. Oh, is she. I think she might have another one, Olive. Yeah, maybe. The baby came out! <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we have a baby. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So good so job, Lami. You're such a good mommy. Good job. Oh, look how tiny it is. Oh, and it's so cute. Yeah, it's a girl. How are you? How you get you're getting I'm strong. Down. Yeah, it's another girl. Yeah, it's a girl. Oh, you're good and strong. <laughs> yeah, you're good and strong. You're yellow. How come you're all yellow? Oh, yellow. Be great, be great, okay? You're so cute. I landed on my feet. Oh. oh. Hey. Another one, one. Mammy. This is the clean one. It's a little boy. Oh. Hey. And you have a lot more blood. Dirty. Yeah. Oh, baby lamb. This one is on a good clean lamb. Wait. Why did the first one have little blood and why did the second one have more blood? I think you just saw the other one after it had been cleaned more. <laughs> then the other one just got dirty. Look. Look how tiny she's doing it. Oh, I think she's going to go get her brother or sister. They look really good. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> Lammy, come over here, Lammy. <laughs> come closer. Lammy, come over here. <laughs> Lammy, come over here. Lammy, come over here. <laughs> come here. So, for those of you who haven't heard already what our plans are with the sheep, um, Lammy is a special, specially bred dairy sheep. So she's not bred for, like most sheep are bred for their wool and or their meat. Um, this breed of sheep is bred specifically for dairy production. So she should produce a lot more volume of milk as well as, uh, for a longer duration of time before she dries up than a normal sheep. I'm the kind of guy I really hate waste and in my mind growing a lawn without doing anything with it is the most wasteful thing that we do. It's the most useless crop on the planet I've heard people say. Well rather than sit and complain about it being a useless crop or try and be the rebel of the neighborhood and have an ugly yard or a, a abnormal yard by replacing the lawn with something else. I decided long ago that I would find ways to make my lawn useful. 
So back in our old house, we raised meat rabbits. When we moved to this new house where we are zoned for livestock, I wanted to get a dairy sheep. She can eat the lawn, thus putting it to good use, turning it into milk and cheese for us. Um, in order for her to produce milk though, she has to have babies. So we of course bred her last fall so that she had these little guys. And uh, now, uh, in the next couple days, we're gonna be able to start milking her and uh, reaping the rewards of getting that, uh, turning that grass into dairy products. The other great thing is, not only does it make the grass useful, but I don't have to mow the lawn more than just a couple times a year. Um, obviously there's little patches that grow longer than others and so we have to kind of even it out every now and then. But unlike most people who are mowing their lawns once a week or twice a week or at least every other week, uh, we're mowing the lawn like every other month just to even it out so it doesn't look so patchy. But yeah, so Lamby provides a great service for us, giving us milk and other dairy products as well as uh, doing the labor of keeping our lawn in check. And these cute little guys are part of the process because she won't produce milk unless she has babies. You wanna go see your mama? <coughs> oh, you wanna go see your mama? Okay, go see your mama. <coughs> so I'm excited to announce that finally we have the big walk-in mink enclosures finished all the way down to the end. So you've got this nice little walkway and we got all the way down to the very last enclosure. And you see this side, instead of having wire, we put a solid tin matching the barn. So I think that's a lot more aesthetically appealing than it would be to just have the wire all of a sudden start at the end of the barn. And also it obviously provides a lot more shelter. When the sun's shining sideways, this will block the sun's rays when the wind and the snow and the rain are blowing around. This will block that as well. So it makes it a lot better shelter for the animals, better looking for us. And uh, I just felt like it was a great way to, to end off the cages. So yeah, super excited, man. This is absolutely beautiful, super sturdy construction. So it's both eye appealing and super useful. Um, I know I've showed you the insides a couple times, but let's go inside again. As you see, everything's double wired. So the mink can't fight if they're in separate cages. One's in one cage, one's in the other. They can't get to each other through the wire because it's double wired. It's all really tight, small meshed wire. So we could put all kinds of critters in here. We got our own little lock so that I could come in and lock the door behind me and that they can't get out. Yeah, this is Mr. Boone's enclosure. So the other enclosures are set up similarly. They've got branches to climb. They've got nest boxes up high where they can go den in. And we just need to get set up the uh, swimming pool areas so that they've got their big swimming pool and we haven't done that yet. But um, we also wanna set up some little pipes and stuff for them to play in. But the main construction is finally done. Super excited. Man, this has been a long time coming, a lot of work, a lot of, of uh, money, but it's awesome to have such great enclosures set up for our mink. Um, super proud to show you guys how nice it's looking. And like I said, it's not just looks nice, it's super sturdy. I mean, hard, hardcore sturdy construction should last for the rest of my life is the, is the hope that won't have to do any serious repairs or anything for the next you know, basically the rest of my life, these mink can enjoy having such luxurious, large and spacious homes. So mink aren't naturally that arboreal. Obviously you can see as Boone just shimmied up the tree, they're good at climbing. I actually set this up with their den up there to basically encourage them to climb. So by encouraging them to climb, they're utilizing more size or, or more area in their enclosure right? They're using both vertical and horizontal space. And it also builds their, uh, their different muscles. It builds their coordination and their balance better and things like that. And if I didn't put their nest box up there, they probably wouldn't climb that often. They would just climb occasionally here and there. With having their nest box up there, it encourages them to climb on a daily basis. Of course, they go up there to sleep, they climb back down to get a drink or to go to the bathroom or to play and then they climb back up to go to sleep again. So it basically encourages them to utilize more of their enclosure, 
more of their their physical their muscles and, and um, things like that so it's it's really not necessary it's not like you know minker out in the in the nature climbing up trees and denning in trees very often if ever but it encourages them to utilize more of their enclosure space and get more exercise than they would otherwise so i hope you guys enjoy it man i'm super proud of this it's been a, a long time coming it's a literal dream of mine for many many years now to have this beautiful uh mink land set up with ideal enclosures for the mink not just good enough but ideal enclosures super super proud of it appreciate you guys making this possible when i created my youtube channel i decided um, years ago when it started to become successful and actually produce some income so i said to myself you know what if i'm going to uh, have a good comfortable lifestyle with this income it's only fair that they have luxurious mansions to go with it right because they're the ones making it possible for me to live the life that i have and to be able to be a full-time um you know youtube producer and be able to go out and hunt for a living and spend all the time i do with my little girls and and live i mean really a dream life to be frank that's made possible by the mink that i give my mink full on uh mansions for their enclosures rather than just a little cage so appreciate you guys watching and your guys' participation in this channel and the success that we've been able to enjoy. Thanks for watching and we'll show you more next time.